So um, loads of water. You'll notice if you watch it online, there is an actual, well, kind no. of a basket. No, no, no. So, but we, someone texted in about five minutes ago, suggesting that we should have used a basket instead of a bin. Uh, producer Will did the best he could, and he's come back with a crate. It's a crate. Um, it's a, what is it, a milk crate, or have you just stolen I'm not sure what, I don't realize, I'm not sure how he's managed to get this. <laughs> well, let me help you there, because I've got something in my bag uh, before we continue. Oh. oh. So, some treats for you. Oh, oh. one second. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, this is, um, this is unplanned. This is unplanned. So you put what, these treats straight, in the to, bag? straight to my crate. What's in the bag? We'll see. <laughs> we... What's going on? Is this an extra large? Okay. So, that's not a basket. What's going on? This, my friend, is a basket. Oh, it's got a little camp basket. In it, Scott, got you some nuts. Oh, lovely. A bag of nuts for you. Oh. And Chrissy. Oh, oh some lovely. Little sausages. Oh. oh. oh that's, so, that's fabulous. Thank you. It wasn't. Actually, the world's smallest basket is pretty That's cool. a great basket. It's not the size that matters, Chris. Are these your baskets that you're now flogging? <laughs> yeah, now I'm selling them as well, yeah. <laughs> I like how it occasionally it goes back into like, whoa, six. <laughs> back in the mirror. Yeah. Okay, right, here we go. Get your water in your mouths, please. Let's play Innuendo Bingo. First, we're going over to the Great British Pottery Throwdown, hosted by the incredible Sarah Cox. Now, I don't know what contestant Tom is making here, but judges Kate and Keith you seem very impressed. That's not bad. Nice tidy rim. What Tom's got there, he's got enough meat in the bottom there. That looks really good. <laughs> mm. <Yeah>. mm. Good <laughs> sturdy, <laughs> sturdy base for Tom's pot there. <laughs> mm. Please. Little drizzle. Well, sorry, can you explain that that one ever so slightly more? It's pottery, right? It's, it's an pottery show. show. Pottery, the great pottery throwdown. He's put meat at the bottom of his pot. No, no, it's, it's, it means it's got a, like a sturdy base. Oh, right. Mm. But that is how you impress the judges on that show, meat in the bottom. What Tom's got there, he's got enough meat in the bottom there. Yes. That looks really good. Ollie mm. and Sarah spotted that one. Mm. Mm. Next, it's going over to Simply Nigella on BBC Two. Fill your cheeks, please. We all know that Nigella is a fantastic cook. But it sounds like she'd be quite good at hosting guests as well. When I have people over, I don't do formality. I do cosy. And I feed my friends my fish tacos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nigella. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you listen, the uh, the Phantom Laugh is back as well. Can you hear her? Uh, yeah, she's can back. You, can you hear her? <laughs> there she is. There she is, under the desk. There's someone under the desk. There's someone yeah. under the desk taking pictures of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigella Lawson there. I feed my friends my fish tacos. Mm, okay. Thank you, Stuart, Sean, and Lindsay for emailing that one across. Next, Sunday brunch. Water, please. And animatronic off the Scissor Sisters was mm. special guest. <laughs> What's funny about that? Mm. Now, when it comes to this, <laughs> Anto's gone. Okay. Reload. <laughs> when it comes to this cocktail ta tasting technique, I really hope animatronic knows what she's doing. Uh, and, and using the savoury notes to play against the sweeter elements of, of, of classic, classic cocktails. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, then we'll wander on to the last one. Marcus. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and double fist it. <laughs> 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 and that is what happens, everybody, when you hold a cocktail in both, by with each hand, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and double fist it. Animatronic there on Sunday brunch. Officially soaked. Oh, very wet. Now, how is wet it? Game. Is it pretty wet over there? Wet game, yeah. Yes, um, it's very damp. Sam in Pontypris says, this uh, in your bingo is going straight in mine. I get to watch live for a change. Water, please. <laughs> Do you think that, that phrase is going to stick with you forever? Without sounding morbid, it'll be what, it was what's written on the... Uh... <laughs> go on, say it, go on. God, how to lighten the mood. <laughs> yeah. No, sorry. It's... When you die, you know... Just... Really, uh... yeah. You know that bit when you're going to die? <laughs> just wondering. OK. Water, please. <laughs> 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 Don't get yourself the phantom laugher now. 
Now let's go over to Sky News. Press. <laughs> 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 Sky News. On Sky News, they have reporters absolutely everywhere. Well, let's go to Tom Rayner. He broke this story for us this morning. He's in a man in Jordan. <laughs> Again. Well, let's go to Tom Rayner. He broke this story for us this morning. He's in a man in Jordan. <laughs> yes. Water, please. Uh, I can't even look at his face. I know. It gets like that. Uh, <laughs> over to the right stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everyone's talking about <laughs> when it's written on his tombstone. <laughs> That's going straight in my casket. <laughs> Cheers, Chris. Oh. There's so many emails and texts coming in. <laughs> well done, everyone. We all win today. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm crying. Okay, right. So, the right stuff on Channel 5. And they... They, they were debating whether austerity was coming to an end. Straight in my Oh. Channel 5, the right stuff. Now, this is a very serious discussion, but... Chris, but Matthew Wright is trying to make it a lot less complicated for us. Matthew's trying to make it so that we can all understand what's going on. Andre, end of austerity, do you think? Someone like, uh, I mean... Well, oh, go on. Do you... No, I, I, I was going to say the things that I, I picked up on yesterday in terms of the, the building of new homes for young people, I think that is a fantastic thing for first-time buyers. You know, but it only buyers. deals with the numbers that he's pledged to buy yeah. would only satisfy housing oh. need till the end of next year. Yeah. It is not a long-term solution. It is no. a finger in the hole of the dike. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, spotted by Emily and Reese, that one. Remember, if you spot an innuendo, send it my way, please. Scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. It could be on a game of innuendo bingo. What? <laughs> no. Finger in the hole of the dike. Now, we're going over to Radio 2. And it's presenter Lisa Tarbuck. <laughs> now, Lisa's are getting in touch, sharing their dreams. And a lot of them seem to be about Daniel Craig. And anything can happen in dreams, as you know. Uh, Lisa, can you tell the Daniel Craig snogger that he was two-timing that night, the rat? He was actually giving me a facial whilst periodically kissing my face. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favourites from Tuesday. <laughs> What's a, what a lad. He was actually <laughs> giving me a facial whilst periodically kissing my face. That's okay. Great for you. Next it is. <laughs> Next. <laughs> it's pretty wet now. Next, we're going over to Oxford Street Revealed on BBC One, talking about one of London's most famous streets. And it's amazing what photographer Jason has managed to see from the air. Jason and Miles are planning on just over an hour's flying time. And countryside soon becomes city as London's famous landmarks hove into view. Something exciting is going on in the Queen's back garden. And Jason can't resist a few snaps. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would take pictures, Aww. wouldn't you? You right there, Chris? Full on, fully wet. Something exciting is going on in the Queen's back garden. Oh. And Jason can't resist a few snaps. OK, we've got one more, lads. Come on. Him. It's BBC Two and Michelle Rue's service. Michelle certainly put a lot of thought into this evening's guest list. What's a pescatarian? Pescatarian only eats fish. <laughs> Gok Wan, Dermot Gavin and Sophie Ellis-Bexter have been personally invited by Michelle for their love of eating out. 
<laughs> I love this game still. And that was Inyo Bingo with Ante Sharp. Well played, everybody. That was brilliant.